Hi everyone, my name is Zeus, and this past year I've been practicing game development. I studied almost every single day in order to learn how to program video games. I started with Python, then I moved to Godot, and then I moved to the original plan, C++. This is a overview of all the projects I have made in the past year. So if you'd like to follow me, I would like to show you. First up, we have a remake of the Final Fantasy VIII card game Triple Triad. This was made about three months into me learning Python, and I used the Pygame library. Next up, I created a Space Invaders clone. Now, this was made from a Python Pygame development book. This taught me uh, object collision detection, generating enemies, and a little bit of classes. Next up, from the same Python development book, we created a tower defense game. Now I spent tons and tons of hours trying to fix this game, but it remained broken. All right, so transitioning into Godot. Now every single Godot project I have done was from a Udemy class. So therefore I was still in the tutorial section of learning, but this is a 2D maze exploring game that I had made. Following the 2D maze game, the Udemy course had me create a side-scrolling space shooter game, and this is what that looks like. Next up, we have a 2D platforming game. Now, this project taught me a lot about how Godot works in general. Things like creating levels, creating environments, creating objects, creating players, etc. All right, next up, we have a 3D game that we had made. Uh, with the Godot Udemy class. So this was a fun project to make. It was the first ever 3D environment that I had worked in. It gave me kind of an idea of how to create levels in 3D and how coordinate space works in 3D as well. Now, would I program in Godot in the future? Maybe. I really like creating C++ code and creating things myself. So I think I'm going to stick with C++ and maybe move into Unreal instead. So now let's transition into my C++ code. And one thing that I told myself is no more tutorials. From here on out, everything I create will be my own work. All right, so my first ever project in C++ is a game called Hobo Killer. Now it's actually a game that came into development because I was watching one of my favorite shows growing up called Code Monkeys. And that's one of the games that they created in, in the uh, TV show. And so this was a 2D fighting game that I intended to learn how to use classes much better. And one of the challenges I really, really faced in this game was an input buffer, which is fully functional. As you can see here on the top left, you have the input buffer and there's special combos as well. Uh, this was a really, really fun project. Next up, we have an idle clicking game. And so the idea behind this game is to take the elements of group Iron Man from RuneScape and make it an idle clicking game. And you are able to control a party of four each person in your party has a different stats. The level progression mimics runescapes. And the idea is that you're going to collect resources, spend the resources, fight bosses, etc. Moving on to our final project. It is a procedurally generated 3D maze game. The object is to find Joe. That's it. And as soon as you found Joe, find Joe again. Python taught me how to program. Godot taught me how to develop video games. And C++ is taking me to greater heights in my ability that I can only dream of. The idea is to become a successful game developer and develop actual good video games. Given that I am still a beginner, I'm going to make this dream happen. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you can, subscribe, like the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care.